Alright guys, this painting I'm going to do on a large piece of wood. I kind of want to do this piece uh, just a little bit different uh, for this particular tutorial. Here I have a piece of wood that I cut at my local um, local uh, hardware store, I think Lowe's or Home Depot. I covered the wood black, you kind of see that I covered it black. You can see the lines of the um, wood or whatever. I uh, just sewed the front part already with a nice uh, gray with gesso. I mix the gesso and the gray together to cover up the wood. But I just want to give you guys an idea of what all you can do with uh, some of your painters. You don't have to always paint on canvas. Um, I can't stress that enough. I've, I've sold, <laughs> I would say hundreds of paintings that I've painted on wood. So I just kind of want to switch it up a little bit so you guys can see what all the cool things you can do um, when you're painting your painting. Especially something like a cross or a church or um, flowers. Either, I think it adds to it when it's on wood. It just, I think it just just the subject matter and you applying it on wood just kind of give it a different feel to it. So uh, what I'm going to do is draw the cross first. Um, the paint is already dry, the gray is already dry, so I'm going to draw the cross first and then I'm going to um, start with the background and work my way to the cross. Now this is, this is the, I think this is like um, up at the top, it's about uh, I think 9 inches and down here is uh, I think it's 36. So. So it's a long skinny piece, but I think it would be perfect for the cross. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw, let me get my paint together. I'm going to draw my, my uh, cross and get a white. You, again, you can draw it with the pencil, sharpie, or whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use the paint so you guys can see in the video. Um, I got a light coming in, I hope it doesn't mess up the, uh, um, the lighting. I thought about turning it off, but I think the light just makes it better. Notice there's a shadow here, so but I'm not gonna worry about it. So here I'm gonna draw my cross here, top, right here. Gotta make it skinny. Again, I'm not going for perfection. All the way down. I might have to step back to make sure it's centered pretty good. So that elongated cross here, like that. Kind of wind this out just a little bit. I'm gonna wind this out just a little bit too. You can do the same. Wind this out just a tad bit as well. Wind this out just a tad bit as well. And that's it. Let me step back to make sure it's centered pretty good. That's pretty good. It's not too bad. Alright, I'm going to paint my background with a nice white and um, white with a little bit of turquoise mixed in. So I'm going to mix that in just a little bit. Using more white than turquoise, of course. I want to get that nice color. I'm going to add just a tad bit more to it. I want to make sure I have enough to cover this top part and the bottom part, so I'm going to mix a lot just to be on the safe side. Here I'm using a paper plate. I just like mixing on paper plates, just easy, easy for you to just uh, throw them away or whatever. When I'm done, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my paint. And again, I'm just putting a nice leather, excuse me, a nice layer, just colored out, mixed up right here on top of my surface. Get right up on the line. Get up here at the top. You can do a bunch of these. This would be good for a small shows or even gifts. So.
you gonna mess up that gray show? Get right here on the edge. You got a little color in here from my palette knife. I used to color, um, I think a red or orange before, so it's still kind of on there, so it's showing, which is okay. I don't mind that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's totally fine. So I got my first layer of white turquoise. I'm going to put another layer of a different color on here in a few minutes, just to kind of give it a little dimension. I don't want to look too flat. And here I'm using it, just kind of scrape it down, just using my palette knife. Try not to put too much paint on my, on my uh, palette knife. I turn my palette knife sideways when I get up on the edge of this line right here. And again, I'm not trying to cover up the entire gray background. And some of it to show that's the look that I'm going for or the style that I'm trying to accomplish See that? That's it. Now I'm gonna add the cross. No cross. I'm just gonna pretty much make it white. I'm gonna add a little, have a little gray hint. I may have a little hint of gray in it. That's okay. Here. 
not gonna worry about the edge right now. I come back in to clean that up. So you can do the same, add a little white to it. What you wanna do is make sure you have enough paint and go upward and in a downward motion. Get right on the edge. Get on the other side here. Here I'm just using the tip of my palette knife to kind of outline the edge right quick. Put some of the gray in the background as well. Not much, just a little bit of the gray. Add a little bit more black. This painting doesn't take long to do. You're not using a lot of colors. Um, using pretty much a limit palette, which is okay for this particular painting, or style of painting, I should say. And just outline using a tip. What you can do is use the tip of your palette knife. Just go down. When you run out of paint, put some more on there. On your palette knife. And that'll be it. I'm just going to add, give a little bit of this black that I have, or this dark gray on my, that I have on my palette knife, and just kind of put a little bit on the side there. I'm trying to make sure I make it centered. And you kind of use the tip of your palette knife, kind of like a pencil. And outline the shape of your cross. This side is a little bit too wide, so I'm gonna go in. Go in on it, make it a little bit skinnier. There we go. And that should be it. Cut off this light so that you can see it a little bit better. That's it.